Someone hit and killed his best friend and then just drove off. Tonight, he's turning to you for help and possible answers here. This happened Saturday night as 26 year old, uh, the 26 year old victim crossed the street near Southeast 70th and Foster. Coin Local 6 reporter Amy Frazier is here now. Amy, I imagine his friends and his family absolutely devastated by this. They are. They say Jason Grant was such a light in their lives, someone who could bring people together without even trying. It was the flashing lights, though, of police cars just down the street that let his best friend know that something was terribly wrong. Jason and his best friend, both musicians, moved here about four years ago from Kansas. They were planning to play some music in the basement after the Kansas University basketball game on Saturday, but... First, Grant wanted to run over to the convenience store. Jake Kersley kept texting his friend, but there was no answer. Just down the street, a driver hit Grant as he crossed Southeast Foster. Police say Jason was not in a crosswalk and that the driver that hit and killed him just drove off. As he grieves this sudden loss, the best friend says he was lucky just to know Jason. Absolutely. He's, uh, he's the greatest person I've ever known, and this is the worst thing that has ever happened to me in my life. Now, as far as the hit and run drivers, so far police have very little information to go on. The driver may have been in a pickup truck or an SUV. Investigators say there could be some damage to the front end and the hood and the radiator because there was a trail of fluid out there on the road. If you have any information that could help, you're asked to contact Portland Police. We're told that family members are now planning a memorial service for Jason Grant this Saturday back home in Kansas. Friends also hope to plan another service here in the Portland area. Reporting for you, Amy Fraser, Coin Local 6.